You're listening to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Wrap on Desert Rock FM 96.5. Welcome back to the Batuta Advocates Weekly News Board, and I'm Clancy Ivor. I'm joined by Errol Parker and Wendell Hussey. How are we all? Yeah, pretty good. What's up first in the news this week? Well, we're going to start off with a story that has confused and perplexed everyone around the country. The nation is still wondering why in the fuck anyone needed to taser a 95-year-old woman that weighs 43 kilos. Yes, this has been added to one of the few notable moments over the last couple of years that have caused a collective jaw drop from the entire population. I'm talking about moments in history that just don't make sense. And they make less sense the more you think about them. You know, of course, we've got the lockdowns, the death of Kobe Bryant, the Hawaii holiday, and the incident down in Kuma has been added to the list. Yeah, well, if you knew the full story, you'd understand why they did it. But anyway, yes, that's right, Clancy. Australians are still really having trouble with this one. The entire nation has raised questions about why the police didn't consider the thousand other options that were available to deal with a 5 foot 2, 43 kilo lady moving forward slowly on her walker with a steak knife in her hand. Like, for example, turning the fan on really high or turning up the radio or just, you know, leaving the room. Yeah, I don't know, Errol, until you've been in that situation where someone's coming at you on a walker at a pace like that, you know, I just, I don't know if you can judge. Anyway, moving on to politics, Peter Dutton's advisors have this week begged him not to attend this old rock spider's funeral too. Yes, we're talking about disgraced Aussie icon Rolf Harris, with news breaking this week that the old pedophile has passed away. It comes as welcome news to plenty, except for staffers of the nation's opposition league. Yes, they've been forced to have some tough conversations with Peter about not attending Rolf's funeral, given his track record of attending these kind of funerals. They said, we can't have you going to that, Peter. I know it's a trip overseas, but it's not a good look. And don't even think about calling for a state service here. Please, if you do, I'm done. They work very, very hard, your staffers, I believe. Now, in some news about someone who passed that everyone is mourning, the nation's primary school kids have this week paid a touching tribute to Tina Turner. Yes, news spread this week of the passing of Tina Turner, the first and only queen of rock and roll, and the first woman who made rugby league players look rootable. Very sad. Indeed, Clancy, and the nation quickly started preparing a way to honour that queen of rock and roll the best way they know how, with a stunning rendition of the Nutbush Dance. So, primary school kids around the nation were throwing their most energetic high kicks in honour of the trailblazing singer, which is exactly the way she would have liked. Simply the best. Simply the best. Rest in peace. Now, we wrap up with an international story, and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky has been touched by the Kiwi Prime Minister's offer to send over their Air Force's doorless Cessna 206 and two revolvers to shoot it from. Yes, there's been lots of back slapping from international leaders this week, but this was probably the pick of the bunch. Obviously, we had the boss, Narendra Modi, down here in Australia. But over in Japan for the G7, the Kiwi Prime Minister won himself a lot of fans. Yes, he certainly did. With the war in Ukraine dragging on, Cross Hopkins has agreed to send over the entire New Zealand Air Force fleet. So, it's four middle-aged men from central Otago are heading over to the Eastern Front. Two pilots, Gordon McIntyre and Roy Saunders. One ground mechanic, Ainsley Blaine. And one gunner named Neil McRory will be taking the Cessna and their guns over to lend a hand and send those Ruskies back to Moscow. It's a lovely touch. And look, Tim Gurr, I believe he was from New Zealand, he commented on that story saying, hey, we'll take them back if you're going to make fun of us. Ah, good on you, Kiwis. We love you all. We do, we do. That's the end of the bulletin this week. Have a good one. Have a good weekend. Hooroo! Ciao.